Thanks for joining me. Grotto, to recap, I've worked on it a few times now, is a game, a web-based game being developed in Django. Um, my friend Wiley approached me at the beginning, at the end of January of this year, and asked if I could give him some guidance on working with Django, and I volunteered to um, just, you know, actually contribute some some time to it and some some lines of code so I've been streaming my work on this uh, ever since so today we're going to continue getting this thing ready for deployment onto a digital ocean droplet um, last time we talked about some of the challenges to deploying um, that this particular project faces and one of them was that a a certain um, a certain package just really just takes so stinking long to install both the operating system dependencies and then uh, to actually build the wheel and then installing the wheel is another story altogether. Um, there's a few others that are. Uh, you know, going to take a while, right? There's LibSAS, uh, which is another um, another sort of heavy hitter. Uh, NumPy is a um, NumPy is a dependency for Spacey here. So uh, my goal in today's stream is to set up a repo that can give a that can give a, a much faster starting point for building the grotto image. Uh, so it's going to have Spacey as a, as something that's already installed in the Python um, uh, um, in the Python executable or, uh, uh, environment. Uh, likewise, I'm going to have LibSAS there and ready to go, um, just so that the um, just so that the, the build time can be kept to a minimum for any container here. I don't want to wait 15 or 20 minutes while Spacey installs, right? A few people in the past, and I think we went over this on the last, um, the last stream, a few people have made, um, and, you know, have taken this idea and have done something to you know provide a, a similar sort of shim um, but they have fallen into some amount of disuse it seems and therefore it's you know probably not super reliable um, and I haven't checked but let's look on PyPy and see what the most recent spacey release is spacey so 303 is what we're looking at there the dependency in use in the project presently is 303. So this is really, really recent. Uh, so my guess is that, uh, and 303 came out in February, so only, only a few days ago at this point. So my guess is that uh, something from two years ago is just not going to do it for us. So what I want to do is this dependencies image. And I did a little more homework off stream. Um, we'll talk more about that. I have a few goals here. I want to uh, have an independent repo. I want to have CI, a, 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 a Yeah, I want to store the image on Docker Hub, and I want to have the CI pipeline uh, deal with everything between. So ideally here, I should be able to just create a new repo folder, uh, a new rather a new a new folder in my. Let me just do it here. Let's stop talking about what we're gonna do. Let's get right into doing it. So I'm gonna make a new folder here. Recall that Grotto is the um, is the the 
the repo proper. It has the git the dot git folder inside of it. So I'm creating a folder uh, that's at the same level as that, and I'm going to call it the Grotto Depths. And in here is nothing right now. So look, we just have to make a few things. Um, we need to make a Docker file. Back out here and put this into the empty folder. Docker file. Um, likewise, we want to have a. You know that really the Docker file might really just cover it. Let's have a requirements.txt. Um, so that we can just keep it as uh, as modular as possible. So I'm just going to go over here, requirements.txt, and I'm going to grab up um, all of the sort of big requirements here. I don't know what this even is. What is this even? OK, it's a spacey model. Is that not a, is there not a release for that? I'm just going to go here. Let's have a look and see if they're releasing this anywhere. I load grabbing it from GitHub every time. Spacing metals. Adding the new releases. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So it looks like instead of pip installing the yeah instead of pip installing the model en core web small um, we could do this this one liner thing here um, so I'm gonna do that. And keep this a little bit cleaner but for now let's just take all of this let's bop it over here um, I'm gonna take away that that's all one line it's being wrapped by the uh, editor let's save this and if I reopen it it'll have the formatting there we go um, so let's get rid of that a little bit later for now I want to open up the docker file and I will say let's get the docker file side by side here I need a lot of this to be the same right actually most of this is just gonna be the same um, I don't need to do anything beyond that. I can continue doing whatever. Um, oh man, I need to turn off my notifications again. Two hours. Two hours. Um, one moment while I fix a thing.
Okay, my apologies for that delay. Um, what we were doing is uh, grabbing the Docker file, creating a Docker file rather for this new repository. Um, I need it to do most of the same things. Um, over here, I'm going to have it do all of those same things just to refresh. Um, rather, you know what? No, I, I take it back. I take it back. Um, no, no, no. I'm going to stick with it because it won't have to do like if the if the dependencies are penned the same way then there shouldn't be any problem if the dependency gets updated here in the grotto proper um, do not change this without also change So it's going to take the requirements. It's going to move them over here. I'm going to remove this line after doing after setting this thing up to install run python m spacey. I'm going to do it the way they suggest. Download in core web small. And that means we don't need this to be installed. So in the future, if somebody comes in to the uh, repo and changes the Django installation, uh, the Django version, then the Docker file for Grotto proper will respect that. It'll still do the thing. Um, instead of starting this, from there, I'm going to start it from this matters slash. Um, actually, I might not even need. Yeah, I probably will. Uh, Grotto depths latest. So the game proper will build from this base image, which will already, already have all of the major. Um, all of the major dependencies installed. In fact, it'll have all of the dependencies installed, but you know the major ones too. Um, so with that, oh, I didn't mean to remove that there. I meant to remove that there. So we've got those two things. Um, we're going to be putting some actions in there, some GitHub actions, but uh, we'll deal with that later. And oh god, I just realized that I should just bring this over so that it actually stays synchronized. It's better that way. Okay, um, so I'm gonna close this and I can close this and I'm gonna bump over to github and I'm going to create a new repo for myself new and I'm gonna call this grotto depths grotto depths and I'll make it public because who cares um, and I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. That's cool. I'm going to do it this way. I have a, I have a, uh, uh, 
I have a folder already existing. So see that dot grotto depths. And then when we get init creates a thing here. Um, it's status, it's an empty thing. I'm gonna add to it. Git add Docker file requirements, git commit and first commit. Is there any steps I'm leaving out here? Okay. I um, I respect the move from GitLab to stop using master as their branch name. I like main. That's a that's a cool thing that they're doing. Um, let's see if these work. Usually this doesn't doesn't quite work right. Oh, hey, they actually gave the right command there. Awesome. So if I refresh here, then we've got ourselves a new, a new, uh, new repository up on GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to share this. Um, just go ahead and add Wiley to it right now. If I even can. Manage access. There we go. Boy, use security key. Boop. Yeah, Yubi keys are baller. You should have one if you don't have one. They're very useful. Uh, invite a collaborator. What you see is what you weekends. What? What? Ah, why, why did we the, there we go. All right, so he'll get that invite whenever he gets it. No big deal. Um, I need to also uh, let's log in here. Uh, this matters, obviously. The only place I don't have that is it's, it's Twitch. People need to start lobbying Twitch to free up this matters so that I can have it. Because it's mine. Personal PyPy? PyPy. I love PyPy. I think it's great. Um, the only thing that bothers me about it is that the Favicon, the or the 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 Gravit the avatar here is managed by Gravatar, which is owned by WordPress, so to put an avatar up on PyPy, you have to have a WordPress account. What is that even? It's a travesty, if you ask me. It, nobody's asking me, but if you ask me, I'll tell you, it's a freaking travesty. Anywho, um, what was I gonna be doing? Your projects, I have a new project. So I, so Django Svelte, if you haven't been catching on to Django Svelte lately, uh, you should go check it out. Oh, I don't need to do PyPy. I'm not doing a package. What is this? What are you? What? Why are you? Why are you steering me this way? I need to do a Docker Hub. Docker ID, huh? Uh, if it's not this matters, then I don't know what's going on in the world. Docker Hub. Kapow! I've got a password manager over here on the the, the other monitor which is uh, where I'm getting my passwords from. So my content, would you recommend that? That little poll popped up. Um, I have, what? Huh? What's this? Don't I, I think I have, yeah, there we are. Okay, why didn't it show up here on content?
Hmm. Hmm. Looking sus. Um. So I should be. I'm recommending Docker Hub to all of you who are watching right now. Just so you know, whenever I click 10, this is genuine. Extremely likely. Uh, this poll. This poll is fantastic. And keeping me away from the work I'm trying to do. Maybe the reviewer person who reviews the thing, the feedback here will watch my stream and know that I was actually dissatisfied by that poll, despite my uh, 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 glowing, positively glowing review. Um, so, how do I, come on now, why aren't you making this easy on me? How do I add a thing? Add repository. Come on. Edit profile. Let's see what happens. That's my email address. Don't wear it out. Uh, linked accounts. So it should be linked to GitHub. Yeah, okay. No, I think I did it the other way around. I I made. Uh huh. Yeah, well, let's go look at that. What did I do there? I did something special for that. As you can see, I uh, didn't do any homework whatsoever for this. I do remember having you know done this before, so maybe that's enough. Let's go back to my profile. I want to make sure I get the repo name right. Nginx proxy. Right, I forked that and made a little change. Nginx proxy. Are you kidding me right now? No, go to mine. Where are you at? Nginx proxy. There we go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, so I'm forked from there. I have a. Don't I have an alpha an action going on here? GitHub. Oh boy. I must have done it manually. I must have must have uploaded it manually. Okay. No problem. That's fine. Now let me just remember how to upload something else. Created it from the command line. Let's get help. Automated builds, set up automated builds. Do do do. How come I don't have create? Sign into Docker Hub. Click on repositories and click create repository. Okay, seems easy enough to me. Maybe I'm a dingus. What? Oh, repositories. Oh my. Okay, I, yeah, I am a dingus, look at that. Let's create a new one. We're gonna call this, uh, I already forgot what it was called. It's called Grotto Depths. It's a totally obvious name, I should've remembered that. Grotto Depths, oh, 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 Depths. Anybody can have it, no problem. We don't need to do any of that stuff. Let's create it. Easy peasy. 
Um, now, once I have that ready, I should be able, here I'm saying should, should, damn it. I should be able to click on the right thing. I should be able to add an action to this. So, I don't love this page. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna come out and say I don't love it. The action I'm looking for is a Docker action. And actually, I looked for this a little bit the other day. I don't think that I found a sufficient one. Uh, but I did end up, no, you're not, you're not what I want at all. I did end up finding this, this Docker push action, uh, which is put out by Opspresso. Um, I'm just going to click on view on marketplace. I don't know what the marketplace is. I want to look. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, use latest version. What does this do whenever I click it? Hmm. That feels mystical to me. I am going to uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna play around. Actually, let's go to um, let's go to the only other place where I've ever used actions myself, and that is on the Django Svelte, which is up to eight stars. Oh my god, it's so amazing! Eight people have gone through the effort of clicking on that star right there, and it's so incredible. Oh really taken off here my zero viewers right now can attest um, so yeah I have this uh, GitHub workflows and in there is just a plain old YAML file where I do some stuff so I'm thinking I'm not gonna mess with the um, I'm not gonna mess with the with however the heck this button is helpful uh, I'm sure it is I'm sure it works if you work it um, but I don't know how to work that so what I'm gonna do instead is just copy pasta I mean copy pasta right here I know that I do not need to push to a um, to a github package and I don't need to push to Amazon's container registry. So I just really want this top bit right here anyway. So let's just make an action and I'm, I'll create a new folder here. Um, be careful to get the right thing. Dot GitHub slash workflows dot GitHub workflows and then in this I can I'll just do a docker hub publish YAML. a pasta there and we have it going um, the thing I want to do here this matters and this is going to be um, And sure, we'll just call it zero zero one. Why not? And so over here now we should be able to do get status get add github get status again. Okay, get commit.
before I, well, I can commit it. That's not a problem. I'll commit that here. And then before I actually push it, I want to check on one thing. I want to check on secrets. No, not that. What? Is it under security? No, I don't think it's there. I thought it was under action. Let's check under settings. Um, actions, secrets, there we go. Bingo, bango. Um, okay, we're just gonna keep following the, the pattern over here. Settings, I already figured this out once. Why should I figure it out twice? Secrets, and I'm certainly not gonna memorize it. Okay, so for repository secrets, I think I had to create it independently from anything here. So new repository secret, it's gonna ask me the secret name. I need to put in Docker username and Docker password. Docker username, make sure I spelled that exactly right, with an underscore. And then I need to put a password, or uh, the username is, is public, it's this matters, bingo. And then, Docker password, I'll just move this off screen here to pop that password in. been created <clears throat> so let's see if this all works now that the secrets are in place I should be able to push this get push hey welcome viewer I'm just in the middle of uh, setting up a dependencies image for this game because it take the game the game image itself the dependencies for it rather they take a long time to build uh, that takes forever to build. It takes even longer to install the dependencies. So I'm just setting up a slower moving um, registered image on Docker Hub that I can use as a starting point for uh, building um, uh, for, for building the, uh, the game image each time in the dev environment as well as in the, the uh, deployment. So pushed to GitHub. So hopefully we'll see um, hopefully we'll see that that oh that's not the right repo at all. Hopefully we'll see that that is right. It's running. We have an action Oh uh, no, that's the commit. What's what's this little thing? Oh, here we go. Let's do this. And let's just see if it works. If it works right, we should see that pop in to existence over where where did it go? Ah, yeah, we'll see it over here. Oh, okay. It's gonna take for dang ever because a lot, a lot for it to do. Uh, I'm gonna expect it takes like 15 or 20 minutes minimum. Um, but once that's done, um, we should have a, a base image to build from. Um, from there, the next things I was going to do were to what is to get the uh, droplet itself ready. Now Wiley created the droplet and he shared with me the key to get into the droplet. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, deal with that. I'm going to deal with that while I'm not streaming so that I 
there's no possibility of a of a, of a issue there. So um, yeah, today was essentially just getting a getting a new repo set up for um, for the dependencies image and getting that created in um, Docker Hub so that it could be retrieved. And uh, that, and that's I think that's it for now. That's all I can really do until this image builds and either gets onto Docker Hub or does not. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. It's a short stream today, at least on this subject. Um, let me think if there's anything else I can. Let's go back to the to-do list. Let's see what we got. Um, so DevOps concerns is what we're dealing with now. Include Docker file and repo is done. Dedupe visits. I'm gonna wait on that. Dependencies image is what we are working on right now. So if I preemptively check that off, then we don't have that much to do. Apart from, and I should have had this before, deploy to DigitalOcean. Um, actually, let's brainstorm a little bit on that before I drop this stream off. Maybe we can, uh, maybe if we kill enough time brainstorming, this thing will finish its build. <laughs> Doubtful. I don't have a big enough brain to to brainstorm for that long, make a decision and move on. So the deployment to DigitalOcean, we're going to be using Docker. Hold up, I got a work message here. Um, Okay, well, I'm going to have to deal with that probably some other time. Um, okay, so setting that aside. Um, so what does our deployment to DigitalOcean look like here? It's going to be a Docker, a Docker deployment. Um, it's going to have its own uh, um, and it's this is still going to be a SQLite database. So a um, an on instance in instance. Uh, so that's going to be living just right alongside the app. I'm going to have it on the file system so that it's persistent. Um, uh, file system. It's just the one file system. So this is sort of semi-permanent, actually. Anytime we restart, or like anytime we update the image or whatever, we should keep using the same database. Um, however, the database should be sort of easily droppable uh, by just deleting the SQLite file. Um, the advantages there is that we don't have to deal with any with any um, 
standing up of a database of our own. Um, you know, I'm sure DigitalOcean has a database service that lets you stand up uh, however many databases you want, but you got to pay for them. And it's one more layer of, of DevOps concerns that Wiley doesn't really want to take on right now, which I understand. Um, so we're going to keep it simple with the SQLite database and keep it all self-contained in a single droplet. Um, and that will hopefully uh, keep things uh, easy enough. Uh, what other stuff do we have to worry about? Um, we may need a proxy. Um, so something like Nginx to actually forward uh, port 8000 to the world. Um, I think that DigitalOcean deals with that in its own um, its own UI, so it's probably not the sort of thing that I can configure from within the instance, or maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't used DigitalOcean much before. This is uh, Wiley's service uh, preferred service, though. So uh, he's he's uh, he's in charge of that choice. Um, so I'll be prepared to proxy that thing with Nginx if I see Nginx is running and configurable. Um, and then what other kinds of things do we want to... Um, what other sort of things do we want to, to consider for this? Uh, I'm guessing he's dealing with the DNS himself. Um, for now, it could just live on an IP address, and that would be fine for ongoing development. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, this probably covers all of our concerns. Wiley said that he was going to install Docker, so we'll take that as a given. Um, what I'm inclined to do is to have a docker compose file that lives on the instance and the docker compose file is going to look very similar to what we have here in the dev uh, like in our in the repo proper um, it'll do the same port forwarding it'll do the same oh well, it'll do its own environment it'll have a prod in there and a, a debug equals false and um, we'll want to sort of zoom in a little bit and uh, and only um, and only uh, um, only give the database itself so instead of having all of the source directory it'll just be db sqlite 3 and db sqlite 3 Um, I don't want to change this file though, so that was just for example. Um, yeah, let's check on our, on our actions here. Still building that dependency. It's a fam familiar message. It's going to appear a number of times before it moves on. Um, so actually, you know, I'm, I'm feeling brave here. I'm going to go ahead and try. I'll just keep you on the line here as I uh, try to get the... Um, then try to get access to this droplet. Okay, that's the key that just downloaded. It didn't show it to the screen, which makes me happy. I'm gonna go ahead and close that and then back over here to a, a new Actually this is important stuff. I'm gonna Oof. Yeah, but it's also security stuff. It's tied in with my own personal machine here. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. Um, but I'll tell you what I'm doing as I do it. Uh, so I'm taking the key that just copied to my downloads. And I really would have loved it if he had transmitted that more securely to me. But, you know, c'est la vie. Um, Discord messages are Discord messages. Um, 
So I'm going to take that um, and I'm going to move it from downloads where it appears now. And I am going to put it into my .ssh folder. And then I'm going to um, make sure the permissions on that are right because it doesn't like it. SSH doesn't like it if your permissions are bad. So indeed, I need to adjust that so that it is not writable or readable by anybody else but me. So ch mod, and I'm going to call it 600 rather, and guado key. And that looks right. He gave me a um, an IP address here for where it is. I'm going to modify my config, my .ssh slash config file. And I'm going to put a host in there. Oh, God. This is Vim. So, actually, you know what? I'm just going to uh, remember that it's Vim whenever I start and use it like it's Vim. So, paste. If you haven't played Vim Adventures, I'm just going to pull this up over here. Adventures.com. I don't think it has the hyphen. Damn you. Yeah, it does have a hyphen. Dang it, I was right the first time. This game, if you haven't played it, is tremendous. It's super good. Um, it's a, it's you learn them. You know, I'm just gonna play it for a minute here. Uh, you play them the way it's meant to be played. Uh, you're you're the cursor here. You're moving around and you like talk to people when you when you go there, and you're just playing through doing stuff trying to get your way through to the key and eventually there's all kind of all kind of uh, you learn like new commands in them and you traverse your way through this thing it's it's exceptional and like uh, I'll just show you to this first little bit here since it's get that Come over here, you learn a thing. Moving up or down to a shorter line moves you to the last column. So, like, to get through this little one way thing, you just go all the way to the end. No problem. Repeatable trick. And then this person teaches you the thing you want to know. And you learn a new thing. So. Right, as I get to W here, I learn this W command, which takes you to the next word. Oh god, I overshot it. Then you learn end. You get another key. Oh, it's such a good game. I mean, for real. Uh, mm. Yeah. Anyway, I'll let you. I won't spoil it for you. You get to play it on your own. I will leave this up here while I finish doing what I'm doing on this. So, change word. This is gonna be Quado. freaking know it's probably Ubuntu if I had to guess host name uh, let's change that whole line and I'm going to 
and change it to the IP address. So now, if all is well with the world, I should be able to SSH to Grotto Prod. Blah. Okay. Permission denied. Public key. That's cool. Okay, so that seems like it should work. I'll tell Wiley that key did not work. Okay, so I can't get into the droplet just yet. Make sure I did everything just right here on my SSH config. Oh, let me ask what the um, no, uh, actually is the username. root okay that's I don't love that all right that's fine we're gonna go along with it though root and then what happens there we go okay it's a thing of beauty um So I can, now that all this is working, I can bop over here and do SSH grotto prod, and that'll take me over here to this, um, to this console. Cool. So then tell me about Docker. Docker. I don't see Docker in here. Uh, P grep. I don't see Docker in there. Um, do you end up installing Docker? Oh, shh. Screw popped out of my chair. dropping screws like it's going out of style. Dang. All right. That's two. Okay, we're going to change this to a chair repair channel real quick while I repair my chair. Wiley had not installed Docker yet. I told him I'd take care of it. We'll do it on stream together here. We'll just keep each other company. And hopefully find a dang Allen wrench somewhere to put my chair back together. Hey, ow. Okay. Ben of Staples. Having a having a two-year-old running around your room, it uh, it's amazing. 
um, in so many ways, and then in some ways, really frustrating, like stepping on a bin of staples that's been, or a little, uh, Uh, I mean, you know how staples come from the box, and they, uh, they they're like a, a long uh, uh, a strip of staples glued together. Yeah, you broke like twenty or thirty of those off from the rest, and it was sitting under my chair. Kind of stepped on the foot, like a Lego, but pointier. <laughs> Didn't break the skin. We're fine. All right. Had an Allen wrench nearby. Crisis averted. All the screws on my chair are, are tightened up again. Should be less clanging now. So, you're welcome. And I didn't even fall down. Life is good. Okay. So we're here. Um, we're on Ubuntu, that's good, uh, get docker, there is a very convenient link, oh boy, where did it go? Okay, um, just chatting with Wiley there. So this is uh, this is doesn't have a a, a super um, immediate way of dealing with that. There is a get Docker. There we go. Uh, and then, um, yep, this is what I want to do. Bingo. And this is the least organized stream. It's like choose your own adventure. All right, so we're installing Docker here. I'm gonna go ahead and get Docker Compose to um, and I think there's a similar thing. Docker Compose IO. Yeah, this one probably just does the, the thing. Oh man, are you kidding me? Is it what? Is it pip now? Linux. Huh. It's just on pip now. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, it's not even on pip now. It's okay. It's still just what it was. You just get the 
get the thing from wherever it is. No big deal. Okay. So that's done. Easy. Um, let's do Docker Compose. I didn't need a sudo there. It's fine. Because I'm root. Oh my, didn't mean to open the console there. I control shift C every now and again just because I'm switching between a console. You know how it goes. Um, all right, so Docker Compose is there. Docker is there. We are ready to go, buddy. Let me tell you about it. So Docker, done. We're gonna have probably have a proxy to deal with here. Let's do uh, system CTL status nginx. All right, no nginx. Um, let me ask Wiley here. How does digital ocean deal? Okay, so he said that this is a vanilla droplet, so I wouldn't actually expect that it has Nginx installed either. So maybe we'll get to that today. Um, but the very next thing I want to do here is um, Well, I can start making a deployment. Um, maker prod, CD prod, and then I'll make a Docker compose file. Docker compose .yaml. And in this, I want to be um, version 3, obviously. God, I did it again. Control Shift C comes up and bites me. Cool, he wants me to install Nginx too, or he, he, he it should be, Nginx ought to be there. So for the app, I do not want to build, I want to image, um, and let me ask him if he has a Docker Hub. I'm just going to use this matters for now. Ports. Okay. Ahem. <coughs> So we want to have this as a rough. I did it again. Remember, this is a rough template here. And I'll change this to prod. Oh man! Come on, Ben. Debug is now false, and we're gonna have. Directory d.sqlite. Is it three? I think it's three. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, db.sqlite three. All right, and I think that should do it. 
Let's let's fix this one. Let's do one little thing here. Let's go to the end of the line and say the latest. Oh man. Okay. Um so we've got Docker Compose in place that will deal with the semi-permanent database. Nginx. We can get Nginx using using apt apt install Nginx. Let's do it. And then we can mess with the configuration of Nginx a little bit later. I want to check on the status of the build here. Oh my god, is it really still running? 33 minutes later. 33 and a half minutes later, it's still running. Okay, um, so we've gotten a lot of boxes checked off on this deployment. Um, we're still waiting on an image. Um, and it occurred to me just now that we're going to need, like we have a, we have a place where the, um, where the dependencies image will go. This is a slow moving dependencies image. The faster moving app image, the actual game proper, needs a place to live as well because it's it's an image it needs to be built somewhere um so i'll probably just make a new repository here for grotto and have a github action that builds the container builds the image sorry and then uh, uploads it to this matter slash grotto which we can then use um to pull this thing later uh so by putting the by putting docker compose here in you know it's sort of on the vm on the droplet it means that there's some uh there's some like non-automated stuff here like some manual setup so i want to document that as best i can in the readme um This one is going to be not quite automated because we've got the uh, got this version number in there, but you know, it should be good enough for demonstration purposes. And then from there, we do permissions change some configuration that will have to go in there as well. Um,
those contents look like. into the nginx side of things yet so for now I'm gonna leave that blank we probably just need a few config files that we put in place in Etsy nginx um, but uh, we can mess with that later and then um, I think if we do a restart always here let me check Start always. That's the one we want. Um, no. Right. So that will ensure that if uh, the machine goes down, that this thing comes back up. Oh god. <coughs> All right. Um, what else should we talk about in here? Start Grotto with Docker Compose. Compose. Those, those instructions should be relatively complete for this sort of a simple deployment. If we were, you know, if this was, if this was turning into a game with tens of thousands of users and we were making some money off of, um, you know, advertisements or off of, you know, donations or user registration fees or something like that, then, um, you know, we might look into a more professional um, DevOps arrangement but since it's you know a small game being supported for fun um, and for education, the uh, the sort of simplistic uh, deployment is totally fine in my opinion. Um, again, premature optimization is generally a, a big waste of time, so um, I'm not gonna make an Ansible playbook for standing up a DigitalOcean droplet to run this game right now because it's not likely that we're going to have to do it um, more than once totally really um, very unlikely that we'll have to do it on this sort of every week or every month uh, um, uh, timeline when we do that it'll you know we'll put it on kubernetes and it, it'll be less of a problem um, so I'm going to call that sufficient for uh, the documentation of, of setting up the droplet, just for now. I'm not even going to commit right now because mainly we've been working on this sort of ancillary, ancillary thing, which is running now 41 minutes. Yeah, it's a long, long build. All right, so while this finishes building, I think I've, I've gotten just about everything I can get done done. Um, so once that's, once that's completed, I'll come back and we'll do another stream and um, finish out this story. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.